Welcome back to uh, The Running Show 2010, where I'm joined by the lovely Phoebe Thomas. Hello, Phoebe. A lot of people will know you from Holby City as Nurse Kendall. Um, but you've kind of taken a little bit of a different direction, still very much acting, but you started running. Tell us a little bit about how you got into running. God, I got into running um, in a way that I think lots of people in the world, and particularly at this running show, will have. I did a Cancer Research 5K. Um, and uh, I kind of I trained for about four weeks, and I used to work at the events with my dad hilariously, and um, and he said, "Are you going to work at this one, or are you going to run it?" And I thought, "You know what? I'll run it." And I ran it, and I think I came like top 15 or something. So I crossed the line, and I thought, "I think I can get better at this," and um, and I just got the bug. I just started doing 10Ks, half marathons, and then and then marathons like you do, and and uh, and joined a club, and and I don't look back now. So there's obviously quite a lot of natural talent because you kind of don't not do any training and then go to 5K and finish up with the, the top 50. Yeah, I, I, think, I think there is. And I think it's like anything. If you, if you do discover a bit of talent, you think I'll, I'll work with that because it's, it's something you enjoy doing. Um, but it's taken, it's taken kind of a lot of, I think, hard work to get my times down. You know, I've done what lots of other runners do. I started off and I improved and then I plateaued for about two years. And and had to make certain changes and now that I've made those changes kind of diet wise and training wise and really listening to my body and, and what works for me best I'm, I'm now kind of on top of, of how to improve. You talked about hard work obviously you've been a lot of hard work with your running but you know about hard work you were on Holby City was it six years? Uh, four years. Okay, four years but it's kind of very much a sort of 24-7 thing where you're on set from the early morning to sort of late evening so you kind of very much know about hard work. Are you missing Holby City at all? Um, God I miss it because the cast were absolutely lovely and I've got some great friends there and it was it was a wonderful thing to be a part of but it's like any job I think I think it has its it has its uh, time and, and you do have to move on from it um, and I'm now loving having a little bit more time to actually train and and coach and me and my boyfriend have got our business running with us and um, having the time to actually dedicate as much as I want to to the coaching and to the running is wonderful. I'm still acting, I'm still doing all of that, but I'm not in hospital 12 hours for the day, every day. Thank goodness for that. What's really interesting though is that the, the two professions, so to speak, actress to, um, to running coach, running mentor, are two very different things. But can you link them? Because at the end of the day, they're both about performance, aren't they? Yeah, they're completely both about performance. Um, very different performance I think it, it's funny Nick always laughs at me and says I get more nervous before going to do a track race than I do before going on stage and performing in, in front of hundreds of people um, but it, it is about performance and I think the two complement each other because with the acting you know you're you're like you say you're on set all day in an airless studio you've got people constantly asking where you're going what you're doing and everyone's keeping tabs on you and it's just wonderful to get home and throw your mobile phone away throw everything aside and just go out and train and run and do something for you and and I think with any profession it's it's the same for everyone it's that um, it's that contrast that that and and kind of getting away from the stresses of work which makes it so enjoyable but yeah it is, it is a high performance sport and I guess acting is all about that too and in, in terms of, of what you're going to do next year running wise do you have any particular goals ra or races that you're, you're focusing on for next year um, I'm, I am going to do a marathon. It's not my natural distance, but I am going to do another one because I generally do in the spring. I think I'm going to do Brighton 2011 rather than London this year. Um, so I will be concentrating on that. Um, I had a bit of a bummer at, at London this year and I was on for a really good time and my half marathon time had PB'd and I was really on target. And like so many people experience with the marathon distance, I got a blooming bug. The uh, uh, gastric virus the week before so I couldn't do the marathon because clearly I hadn't eaten for five days um, so I'm definitely going to target that and just nail that and just get the time under my belt that I would have done earlier on in the year and then and then the summer for me will be about 5k's and and 10k's again which I love I love just working on the shorter faster stuff and, and getting my times down for those and, and what kind of running are you doing? What sort of run training, run mileage? What does a, a normal sort of week look for, like for, for Phoebe when you're training for a 5 and 10K, not the marathon, obviously? Yeah, 5, 10K. I mean, I, I just, I probably do not, not massive mileage, like kind of 50, 60 miles a week. Um, 
Some people are going to go, well, not much mileage, but yeah, in terms of some of the kind of marathon runners, but it is still a fair amount. It is a fair amount, and, I, and that's not every week. I mean, I have easier weeks as well, and, and, and I really do fit it in around work. If I suddenly have a job, then I might only be doing 30, 30 miles a week, but I'll make sure that I get in my key ingredients into that 30 miles. Um, for me, the, the kind of bedrock of my training is, is my threshold running. So getting my threshold sessions done um, is an absolute necessity, working on my running economy. And then when I'm ready to, I'll layer on the kind of the faster work, the track work, the, the, um, the more intense sessions, but only when I'm fit enough. I'll never use those to get fit. So for me, it's all about my threshold training and also getting my race pace work in at the right time. Yeah. And, you, and you mentioned some track racing as well earlier, which is it's not something that all runners do. I mean, it's quite specialist. So tell us about a, a, a track experience. I don't do much track racing, but when I do for the club, it will be it will be a 3K. I've done the odd 1500, um, which I probably hadn't trained properly for. Um, it's it's a it's a completely different experience. Um, it I always say with road running. Although you've got so many eyes on you because you've got so many supporters, they only see you for a split second. Whereas stepping onto the track is, I can only relate it to stepping on stage. It is like stepping into a theatre. You've got an audience, they see the beginning, the middle and the end of your race. And, and there's a lot of pressure with that. I, I think there is. So you have to, it's all about, like you said earlier, it's all about performance and, and then kind of mental games to get yourself through that. And, I always get a real sense of achievement when I've done a track race um, because you have to whack it and you and you push it hard and um, and it's just it's just a smaller race and I think there's a, a lot of skill involved so I enjoy it yeah yeah quite intense and quite painful very painful very intense and if you don't come across that line either puking or <laughs> or with snot across your face then Nick will look at me and say you haven't worked hard enough. <laughs> Love it, love it. Lovely to see such an attractive woman talking about a bit of slobber, snot, snot. But it's something that all runners will relate to. Like It's true, isn't it? It really is. Um, talking about Nick and, and the, the company you have now, you're running... Running with us. Running with us, which is a, a lovely name. Just tell us a little bit about the company and what you're doing. God, we work with um, uh, we work with runners of all levels. Um, that's the wonderful thing about it. Absolute beginners, um, people who literally haven't put a pair of running trainers on before and fancy doing their first 5k, for example. Um, right through to the guys that Nick works with, you know, his his internationals and his elites who are at the Commonwealth and the Europeans and things like that. Um, we offer a variety of training. So within North London, where we're based, we do one-to-one -one sessions all running specific not not kind of personal trainer-esque things where we're making people do burpees at the end of a field and strap weights to their ankles not that there's not a place for that but everything we do is is running specific um, and then we do uh, our very popular service is our internet um, bespoke training schedules whereby you have your schedule sent to you every two weeks completely completely personal to you so it's handwritten by whoever your coach your your um, designated coaches and it's it's tailored for you it's it's written around your lifestyle so if you're someone like I was who was working 12 hour days then then clearly we're going to take that into account and and take your race goals into account take your targets into account and um, and plan your season for you really but 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 do it with you every two weeks and then you have the opportunity to get in touch with your coach whenever you want to by email by phone um, we also have face-to-face -face meetings to, to progress what's going on. Um, so that's a really popular service. Uh, we also do lots of work in schools with young athletes and um, we support a couple of races as well with training days and things like that. So we're busy. We are busy. And what's the website? The website is www.runningwithus.com. So you got it there, www.runningwithus.com. Phoebe, it's lovely to see you, and obviously running's really kind of keeping you very well because you look fantastically well, and, and it's lovely to see you, and we'll be definitely looking out for your running exploits later on in the season. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me here.